guys, hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Uh, my sound is a little... Alright, so today we'll be checking out an input box. I've been wanting to do this for a while as well. Actually, I wanted to do this in the basic input, um, but I couldn't remember what I have. And when I looked through the video, just like skipping through to every 30 seconds, it didn't look like it. Which means I probably didn't put it in. So now I'm going to have to show you guys here, because we will be using inputs later on, because this is actually a big part of Delphi, and any developer should actually know how to like get a message to display up and ask a question, because in certain times and places you might want that, or like a, when a user signs in maybe, and you don't want to use a form, and you maybe just want them to enter the username, or if you want them to search for something, you want an input box. So let's. So we have a form. Here. There's a button, and there's a edit. Now these don't do anything yet, but when we click on a button, an input box should pop up asking us what's our name, and then it should display it here. And this will basically be the basics, you know. All right. So we can open up for some reason. It doesn't want to. Let's just go on click. There we go. Now you can open it up and we can start. So, first thing we want to do is you just gonna go input box because an input box is very easy. Now input box takes three parameters and they're all three of them are strings. So it's one, two, three. I usually just do that so I remember that it should be free. Now this part on the input box is like the title so um, let me show you let's go um, name now when we run it you know what I actually did something wrong but anyway see name that is basically that part of an input box let's just disable this gonna be annoying Okay, so when we click on name, we get an input box that says name. Now that's basically what that is for. Now, usually you don't want to put a lot of text there, just like the basics, um, stuff like what's what's the gist of it, you know? And here is what you put in, like, what is your name? Now when we run this, it's going to ask us what is our name. What is your name? It asks. And as you can see, you can't actually click off of it because you should first enter this, which is a good thing because sometimes if you want to like click off of it and you have to insert that, like if you make a game or something, then it's quite problematic. So what is your name? Now, basically, the third parameter is basically the input or the like what would be inputted, you know. Like, let's say you want a default value to be an input unless the user changes it. Or like, let's say, net. That's what I use on most of my games. It's my username, usually. So I go Netsu, and now when I click on this, it displays Netsu in here first. So, parameter 1, parameter 2, and parameter 3. What this takes in is basically the third parameter. But if you have been watching my video, you're going to already catch on something with what I just did um, because it's going to be a little problematic if we just want to display this inside of the edit so if you watch my previous video on variables you'd know we probably need something like a string let's go is name string now we have a string so what we're going to do is we're going to assign is name to the input box so is name becomes an in input box now basically when it runs it's going to read this and once it sees input box it's going to execute any function basically executes this is a function we'll later on we'll get deeper into functions because you can make your own in Delphi or the most program programming languages you can but basically a function you can assign like a variable to a function and once Delphi sees but hey that's a function it executes the variable basically 
So now we want to display the name inside of that edit, right? So now I can go edt output dot text becomes is name. Oops, sorry about that. Is name. So now it's going to read this, and once I've input a name, it's going to display it into the edit. For example, let's run it. So we wanted to display Netsu, right? So now if we say OK, cancel will just stop the operation. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Okay, you'll have to go to cancel. Okay, so basically, let's start this one over. Okay, so let's click on name. Now it's going to display Netsu if I press OK or cancel. Um, you can code what happens here because this returns true and this returns false but we won't be getting into that right now we'll be leaving that for a later session so now it's going to display Netsu if I press OK as you can see it displays Netsu but it doesn't just display Netsu you can also put something else like um, Steve's teacher if you say OK you get Steve's teacher but if you put in something like 32 it will automatically turn it into a string somewhat into a string you know but anyway so usually good programming is just to leave it open and not just put something default in there um, but it's up to you unless they actually ask me to put the default in there I need to actually do it unless I work with databases we'll, we'll, we will get to that way later on because that's a whole different part we'll have to teach you some um, how to work with access and what databases are and stuff like that so we'll get to that way later in the series like probably like after part 100 or something I don't know there's so many parts that there can be but anyways thank you all for watching I hope you all enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something see you all in the next video